Hello guys and welcome to Mambozuri. Today we're at the Excel Centre, London. We're here at the World Travel Market, the UK's leading travel and tourism expo. Kenya's tourism industry is world renowned, but over the last 10 years, they've had to overcome some serious challenges. We're here today to talk to some people about how they've overcome these and what they're doing. Looking forward. Hi guys, I'm here with Patrick Marekia, Managing Director, Panari Hotel Nairobi. I, I don't think it's correct to say that in the last 10 years there has been a decline in tourism to Kenya because it is within those 10 years that we also saw the highest number of tourists coming to Kenya. But in the recent past, it is true, we have uh, observed a decline and there are good reasons why that happened. Uh, not least of which uh, was the declining economies from the source countries. Uh, America and Europe have gone through hard time and when people don't have um, uh, money to spend, on, to spend on luxury, they don't travel. Secondly, we have had um, other issues which pertained to uh, uh, Kenya in particular. We lost a good chunk of market from West Africa during the Ebola uh, outbreak. Uh, and also we had uh, uh, advisories issued by certain countries because of perceived uh, 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 issues of insecurity, which is really not fair because insecurity is everywhere in, in the world uh, and I, I don't think that Kenya was uh, treated fairly by the countries which issued travel advisories against, uh, against her uh, because these things have happened here in the UK, they have happened in France, they have happened in the United States uh, so that, this, this is an occurrence that can, ha can happen anywhere in the world but nevertheless, because of those advisories, uh, there was a decline in tourism. However, uh, most of those uh, advisories have now been uh, lifted and we're looking forward uh, to gaining um, uh, from the, the current uh, push to attract tourists to Kenya. So we hope we'll find a positive uh, result out of this effort. I'm from the Kenya Tourism Board and we coordinate Kenya's participation at the World Travel Market. For us, the World Travel Market is, is the place to be. It's a meeting place for the global trade interested in tourism so that they can meet and do business with the, with the, with the travel industry. From Kenya, we have a contingent of about 50 private sector companies, to our operators, hoteliers, airlines, and the delegation is led by our cabinet secretary for tourism, responsible for tourism, Mrs. Phyllis Kandie. So we are here to make a statement to the world and invite the world to come to Kenya. You know, the Kenyans in the diaspora are the biggest ambassadors of Kenya. They are Kenyans, they have roots in Kenya, they have people in Kenya, yet they are the people who have very good contacts in the source markets around the globe. The UK, first of all, has the highest number of Kenyans outside of Kenya. So we are looking at the diaspora as, as, as a big supporter of Kenya. The government recently approved the diaspora policy, which is an opportunity for Kenyans together with the government to work in fronting the government's mission and being able to work in achieving the 2030 uh, vision. So for us in tourism, we are encouraging Kenyans in diaspora to be able to reach out to us. We have um, the Kenya Tourism Board representation here and we are telling the Kenyans in the diaspora, please, you have contacts that we don't have. Where you work, where you go to church, where you do business, where you live, you have British citizens whom you have, you, you can tell them something about Kenya. People will go back again, people people really forget what's happened and you know Kenya has always been a really good value for money destination it has so much to offer and as I said the people are such lovely people there that Kenya is always going to be a popular destination always. Tourism is very sensitive it, it, um, uh, it declines very uh, suddenly and it can also peak suddenly when uh, all things are good 
So I, I don't think we will wait for five years to see positive results. Uh, there are indications that um, uh, 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 tourism is on, on the med. And uh, yes, we look forward to immediate uh, change of fortunes for tourism to Kenya. Thank you.